We just laser engraved these acrylic backlit signs for some easy money and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we've made all the mistakes doing laser engraving on acrylic <laughs> so, that, so that you don't have to. We've learned all kinds of tips and tricks on how to laser engrave photos and logos, and we're going to show you what we learned right now. Right now. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We're doing two projects, and both projects need the same things. We're going to need a LED lighted base and some clear acrylic. And the great thing about these is they're such a low cost high profit type of items so they're great to sell at craft shows or farmers markets you can get these little pucks for about four dollars you can get them as low as three dollars if you buy them in bulk and the acrylic for a 12 by 24 sheet was about 10 bucks but we can get like four four little acrylic cutouts out of this so and on amazon you can buy these packs that come with the acrylic stands that go in it so I think those end up being about $5. So it is a great, you know, low cost item. So all in anywhere between five and 10 bucks. Yeah. But I've seen them go anywhere between 25 and $35. So that's Excellent. a good chunk of change. <laughs> it's a good chunk of change. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts, but first we're gonna take a selfie so that we have something to engrave on the, on the acrylic. Project number one is going to be a photo, and we're going to show you all the tips and tricks with laser engraving photos. All right, get in here. Let's look cute. We are actually going to start at a website, Imager, I-M-A-G-R.com. We're actually going to start by removing the background. We're going to click BG removal. We're going to go find our selfie that we just took. It's going to automatically remove the background. A lot of ads, you just gotta keep scrolling down. Let's download that. We'll go back to the main screen, Imager, and you'll see it's got some brief instructions on how to use it. We're gonna start by uploading the picture that we just removed the background from. Now you gotta scroll back down. Each time it reloads, you gotta scroll back down. Let's crop this. We'll remove some of that space around us. Shrink it in, get our faces in the middle. All right, looks good. Get a scroll down again and we'll crop it. You gotta scroll back down cause it refreshed. <laughs> and we're gonna go to resize. Yeah, the first thing we're going to do is pump up the DPI to 300. And we'll change this to inches so I know a, bit, a little bit better about where it's going to land on the acrylic. We'll start with four inches wide. Actually, let's start with like three inches tall. Yeah, a round number. And you can see you can do it by percentages. You can do it by height and width and it'll keep that perspective. Let's scroll down again. Now we're gonna select our material this time. And we're gonna start by selecting the CO2 button at the top and then CO2 acrylic. And we'll scroll down again and you'll notice that now our image has been mirrored and flipped. So it flipped horizontal and it's mirrored. So let's download this. We're going to download it as a PNG to keep that, that transparent background. Go over to Lightburn. We'll import our image that we just made. See how it looks like a negative? All right, let's give this double zero or the black layer. We're going to put it on the black layer. Let's draw a circle and start to give this thing a little, uh, little bit of base to sit on. Let's make this little base four inches round, four by four. We'll move it in place. 
Now this is gonna be the base. This is what it's gonna engrave on. So we're gonna set it this on the red layer and then draw a little tab at the bottom, a half inch deep by three inches wide. That's how big the slot is in the little LED base. Oh, uh, whoops. All right, now we're gonna center all of this stuff, make sure it's aligned vertically. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. You know, it just needs to slide into the LED base. Let's make sure they're aligned vertical again. Now we're gonna select both of these and we're gonna go over here and select weld all selected shapes. That way it's all one shape. Now we're gonna right click on the image and select image adjustment. From there, we're gonna select dither. You wanna try to get your DPI as high as you can. We're gonna go with just under 500 DPI. Now they do have some presets, but there's only two presets. They don't really do much. You can invert your display to see a little better what it's going to actually look like. And now you can start tweaking the contrast, the brightness, and the gamma just to try to you know, get it to what actually looks the best here on the screen. A little tweaking. I mean, it's just fine tuning. Just some fine tuning. All right, looks good. Let's go test this out, see how it goes. We're going to go over to cut in layers and let's find the best settings for engraving. And to do that, I'm going to jump over to the OnTech website where they have a little sheet that'll tell you by wattage your best settings. So it looks like for us, it's gonna be 275 millimeters per second and 22% power. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Now we're gonna make sure that pass through is checked because we've already dithered our image using Imager and we don't want it double dithered. So we're gonna make sure that the pass through is on. And you'll notice that the air assist is off for the engraving, but we left it on for the cut. And let's start. We're gonna start by removing the protective film on one side of the acrylic, and then we're gonna wipe it down with either some alcohol or one of these lens wipes. I have a bunch of lens wipes. It's all done being engraved. You just brush off some of that excess acrylic dust, and then we're gonna wipe it down with some alcohol or a lens wipe again. And then the, finally, we're just gonna remove that film on the back that we still have, and hopefully the removal goes a little easier for you. <laughs> Step three. Assembly, this is where we bring it all together. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put the acrylic piece that we just cut out into the lighted base. Done. Done. I mean, that was easy. That was the easiest assembly we've done on this channel. Yeah, that is the easiest assembly. <laughs> and these things are great. These are great for things like wedding gifts, announcements, uh, memorial plaques trophies there's so many different cool things great dad gifts these are great for a man cave with you got logos a kid doing sports it. throw him on there parents love pictures of their kids doing sports did you know you could get all of our files behind the scene content and even a kim and garrett after dark podcast as well as monthly zoom calls access to a secret facebook group and we'll even send you one of these fancy t-shirts all for 20 dollars a month it's the best way to support this channel so join us over at patreon.com. Project two, back to step two. We're gonna do a logo for this one and a logo engraving is a little bit different than a photo engraving. And we'll jump right into it and show you what we mean. For this engraving, we're gonna do it just a little bit different. We don't need to go out to the website. 
We're just gonna go get our logo. This is my favorite sports team logo. You can always use your favorite sports team logo. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and go to trace image. From here, you can go ahead and zoom in and out to see how much of the detail you're actually picking up in the image trace. Ours looks good at 128 threshold. We're just gonna go with it. You'll see that it creates two. I don't need the back image anymore. Now I just need this front image, this SVG version of the image. Now I'm gonna need to make a base for this thing. So let's go ahead and give it an offset. You can come in and play with the offset. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. You can put it right on the other lines, but we're trying to give it a little bit of base. So I think quarter inch looks good outward, rounded, and we only want the outer shapes. Okay. But now this gives me some lines in the middle. So let's set this to the red layer so I can see it. And we'll ungroup it. So we'll go to arrange. Ungroup. Now it's ungrouped the the outlet, the outer stroke. So we're just gonna delete all the middle pieces. I'm gonna hold shift and select all these little middle pieces. And then I'm just gonna tap delete, gone. So now I have a good base and I have the engraving part. So I'm gonna make the little tab that slides into the LED base. It's three and an eighth inch by a half inch. But I think I'm gonna drag this little base up and kind of meld it into the outline of the pedals and cranks. I'm gonna select these and group them and then select everything and make sure it's aligned vertically. Now I'm gonna ungroup the engrave and cut again. I'm gonna select the backer and the little tab I made for the LED base and we're gonna weld those selected items together. I mean, that's it, I'm ready to go. This is ready to engrave. Let's go over to the power and settings. I want this logo to be a little deeper than the photo. So I'm gonna make it 150 millimeters per second speed. I think I'll leave the power and we'll see what it does. I am gonna fill this though. And when I fill it, the, the tabs below change. And I'm gonna want at least 360 DPI or lines per inch LPI. And I wanna turn the air assist off for engrave. But remember, I wanna keep the air assist on for the cut. For the cut, 10 millimeters per second and 45% power seems to cut through just fine. I'm gonna group everything and we're gonna move it kinda of out of the way. And do not forget to mirror your image. So we're gonna go up to arrange and flip horizontal. That way when we do engrave it, the engraved piece will be on the back and we'll be looking at that through the front piece, which is still nice and smooth. All right, let's cut this thing. Step three. Assembly. Once again, this is one of the easiest assemblies ever. We take the acrylic piece we just cut out, put it in the base. Look at that. Yeah, Garrick had to so show me up. Look how much bigger his is than mine. <laughs> Same size. You know, it all depends on uh, perspective. <laughs> but like I said, these make great dad gifts. These are awesome. I mean, this one's totally going in my man cave. Oh yeah, for any sure kind of, he's gonna use that. Any kind of logo looks great on these things. And well, it, this one's These are great for craft office. shows. Something like this, put a sporting team logo on yeah, there. Team logo. You can sell these at craft shows all day long. And it's so easy. It's easy and cheap to get into. There's no gluing, there's no painting. It's just engrave and plug it in. We're talking to you, our little friend at the last craft show. She came by, said she wanted to make some crafts. I don't want to paint, I don't want to glue. Well, Here you this go. is the perfect project. This is, this is your answer to that. <laughs> All right, well, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, 
We will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And catch us on Tuesdays where we go live and do a little something new. A little test cut Tuesday or a little painting something new. Woo! I almost lost it.